All right, guys, Endetta one here, and uh, I finally got the trigger guard for my little mag pulled out Wii M4 here that I've been building. And I decided I'm going to go ahead. I've already got this thing pretty much on here, um, but I wanted to show you a few things before I finish it up. Um, cause this is like a really, really easy way to break your uh, your uh, re lower receiver here if you're not careful. Uh, these things are pushed in with a pin, a little roll pin. Uh, I've already taken this the one out that was in here. Uh, now key, when you're taking it out guys, you want to support it. And this is actually a good size right here. Just for mine, I can lay it flat on the table. Like so. And then... By laying this underneath it, uh, I'm able to... Like, like when I'm tapping it out, I'll, I'll set it just off to the side a little bit of the pin so the pin can go down through it. Uh, but that way you have some support underneath your trigger flange here and you won't break those off as you're tapping it through. Now the same thing can happen when you're punching it, you know, you know when you're putting the pin back in as it comes out the other side. Um, it can also do that. Now you can support it like this if you want uh, to do it. But what I found works really, really well is I get it started like so and I had to drill this hole out a little bit because it wasn't quite big enough uh, for this new steel pin here uh, you know it's like a real steel trigger guard here they don't fit quite right like I'm gonna have to drill uh, the front I'm gonna have to drill the front out here too in order to get the new hole in uh, but anyways get it started tap it in lightly with you know your support behind it so you don't break anything and when you get it started and you know it's gonna go through clear I like to take a C clamp lose all of my other parts put one in on each side and then as you tighten it down you're supporting both sides and I know it seems like overkill guys but like I said I'm pretty anal about this I don't like to break those and I know so many people who have so I'll just support like this and slowly start cinching the c-clamp up and it should keep everything nice and tight as it as it sets that roll pin. Take your time, there's no real reason to get in a hurry here. And this roll pin is actually too long. You can see here, it's too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze it out uh, and then shake, cut it off to where, so it fits right. But there you go, that gives you a good idea of how to uh, put those things in without breaking your lower receiver. Uh, this is the cheap one I got, guys, so it's kind of beat up already. That was all there already. Uh, but then I'll go ahead and I'll drill my pilot hole for this side. Um, it's just a little set screw. Put the set screw in there and it'll be good to go. Uh, but just a little tip for you. Hopefully that'll help you guys. We'll keep you from, uh, you know, totally messing up your uh, your lower receiver here. Uh, it's possible you might wear the the paint off if you do it this way. So putting like a piece of cloth or something underneath it, you know, between the pad, uh, between the edges of this and the metal on your gun, will also help keep from marring that up. If you've got one that's in great condition. Uh, this one's not, so I wasn't too worried about it. But anyways, there you go. Hopefully that helps. We'll catch you next time.